happy Friday, y'all. Um, I hope y'all have an amazing day and a great weekend. Um, let's get started with today's prayer. Hope in a future. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 11. My to-do list and the task reminders that pop up on my computer screen reflect a bit of my nature. Lord, I like to know what will occur and how it will take place. No surprises for me, please. I equate the unknown with potential problems. Cure me, Lord, of such a pessimistic view of my future. I have hope. I just want control, too. It is so very short-sighted of me to have such little trust in you, the creator of the world and of my life. Reach out and still my active, worried mind so it receives and accepts your word. You have plans to prosper me and not to harm me. Replace my anticipation of complications with assurance of security. May I start and end my to-do list with prayers of thanksgiving. Amen. So, I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, um, I self-sabotage, you know, because I do think of the future, you know, so it's hard for me, very hard for me to stay in the present. Um, like I was saying yesterday, like, I feel like as soon as, and this happens all the time, like as soon as I get comfortable um, and I have peace and everything is kind of running smoothly, I panic and I go backwards um, out of fear, um, fear of getting hurt, um, you know, just the fear of the unknown and that's where you know trust comes in and faith and you know when it comes to God I do have faith and I do have trust when it comes to other people I really struggle and um, it's self sabotaging you know because at the end of the day you know I stress and I worry about X, Y, and Z, um, instead of being present, when in reality, if I could just accept, you know, the good that's happening in my life instead of self self sabotaging it, um, would be great. <laughs> but it's something that I'm working on, you know, my trust and. Um, I can really let my mind take me to some dark places. And, you know, I know I deserve a good life. I've been through hell and back. And I deserve the good things in my life. And for whatever reason, it's hard for me to accept those good things. You know? Um, like I'm always looking for something, you know, to be wrong. Um because in my past I had to you know I had to I had to worry I had to stress um, in multiple different situations for a long time you know and now that I don't have to do that it's very hard to get out of that pattern you know and I'm working every day to to better myself and to accept good things like I deserve it and um, but it's like there must be a, a something in me deep down that made me feels like I don't deserve it you know um, but I do I do and um, I have to learn to just let go, you know, not try to control everything and um, just be, you know, 
just be and I need it I need that peace I need the consistency in my life of letting go and having peace in my heart um, because I have so much potential um, in you know a couple different areas of my life I really have a lot of potential and I let my anxiety and my worries and my fear of the unknown hold me back um, and it's not healthy it's not good um, so I mean all I can do is accept that this is where I am right now in life um, it is a season of waiting um, but I have hope and I have faith that God will cure that part of my soul you know um, anyways I hope y'all have again a blessed Friday um, I'm looking forward to the weekend for you, and I'm sure y'all are too. Um, spend it with family, you know. Um, let the people that you love know that you love them, you know. Um, put your phones down, communicate, um, just little things like that. Um, really go a long way but I will let y'all go and for sure I will be back this weekend um anyways bye y'all peace